The Tyrannosaurus Rex was the Chuck Norris of the animal kingdom. They were as tall as flagpoles, as long as school buses, and their jaws could snap into any animal's skull like it's a Slim Jim. The only problem was, their arms were as small as Legos, and no amount of time in the gym would change that. So, why did they even have them? The thing about T-Rexes is that they were pretty good hunters. They didn't really need to hide from their prey, so their stealth stats were fairly low. But they more than made up for it with their enormous size and powerful hind legs. Now, if you've ever tried to walk side by side with someone taller than you, you already know that feel when you crank your legs into overdrive to keep up the pace with that tall person who's barely trying at all. Now, imagine that feeling trying to run away from a hungry T-Rex salivating at the mouth. Because smaller and younger dinosaurs are assumed to be the typical prey of the Tyrannosaur. You could imagine how a pair of nice long arms could come in handy when scooping them up. But that's not how the T-Rex's arms function. They're super short. I mean, so short that they can't even reach their own mouths with them. So, what's the point of them even having arms at all? Well, among the more, uh, exciting hypotheses out there is the notion that Tyrannosaurus Rex arms existed to grip the hips of their love partners during mating. Yeah, try burning that image out of your head. But seriously, wouldn't the tail get in the way? I might need to do a quick Google search after this. Also, a lot of speculation seems to suggest that their claws could have been used to slice at their enemies once they're already engaged in direct contact. And trust me, you couldn't handle those four inches. Then there's the potential for T-Rexes to have had communicative gestures between each other. Imagine that, dinosaurs flashing gang signs. But yeah, some form of notifying their intentions with each other by waving their arms and claws was definitely possible. Kinda similar to how household pets might do this, or if you've ever seen apes communicate using gestures. So, hey, if you like this video, subscribe for more. This is Dude Animalia, and I'm out. Thanks for watching.